be sure to go to flipsidegaming.com and use promo code 6 for 10% off on orders over $10. It's a good deal and helps support the show. What's up, Planeswalkers? Theric 6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. And today we're playing Historic. Not only are we playing Historic, we're playing Bolas. Because yesterday, I was a little salty. I was being a little bit, little, little bit of a little salty, salty Sam. Today we're playing Bolas and we're playing Historic. Why? Because Bolas, so far, my favorite deck on Arena. Bar none. And Historic, so far, my favorite format on Arena. Uh, I, I do like Brawl. I haven't been able to play enough Brawl for me to say it's my favorite. I've gotten to play a lot of Historic. This is going to look very similar to the previous um, Best of Three Bullets Historic that I've done. A uh, few changes. I took out the um, End of the God Eternals, threw them in the sideboard for some Ashioks. I took out Kefnets because I was removing um, some spells and adding more non-spells. So my, my spell number has gone down, my instant sorcery number has gone down a little bit. And I wanted to try Atris, because I really do like Atris. You could say that this is a bit more of a Grixis mid-range control deck, um, but whatever, it's it's whatever. Uh, and then I took out a Murder Rider for an Elspeth's Nightmare, because I want to see how that works in Historic. Um, other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same. Um, I think I made a very minor change in the lands. I took out, I think I had one dismal waters or whatever the whatever the one that gains you a life brought in two temples and then it took out the fabled passage i believe that was the only change i made to the mana base uh and then the sideboard we took out a cast down um and a liliana to put in both end of the god eternals there were no like big spells from theros beyond death that i thought i would want in my sideboard so not a ton of cards in theros beyond death but whatever so in order to play historic you can play historic here you can't play it here, here, here. You gotta go over here into an event. Woo, I get to pay for an event. Um, now, for what it's worth, you know, you only need two wins, two match wins, in order to get your gold back, plus three random Garbo cards that don't matter if you're playing Best of Three Historic, frankly. Um, but still, it it sucks. Oh, bulls, yeah. Uh, it sucks that you have to have some sort of entry at all. Especially if you end up just, like, losing, right? Uh, if you end up losing, cool, you have to pay more to play Historic. Like, if this is the, if this is the format you prefer, which, for me, it is, um, you have to you have to play to win instead of playing fun decks, which is unfortunate. Um, and you have to play, like, a single deck until you beat the event or lose, right? Um... You know, what if I wanted... I mean, obviously, I don't want to make a video right now, but let's say, hypothetically speaking, um, what if I wanted to... Sure. Play a little bit of this, and then switch over to a zombie deck, then switch over to... Um, what is that deck? Um, Rainbow Black? Chromatic Black? Right. What if I wanted to do that? I can't do that here. Ah, oh, fuck. This is possibly Mono Blue. That's a really nice card to have. Um... Is it? Okay. Is it wizards, maybe? Play a swamp. Erase some thoughts. Is it fucking something? Um, oh, it's Jeskai. Okay. Um, they'll play this. They'll have a blue... I think I'm going to get rid of the Anticipate. Right. I mean, I could drop this. I guess dropping this does take... Like, the thing is, the Electromancers are going to die. Meh. We'll do that. Um, we don't need this. We have four mana as is. We need some red mana. Potentially. Um, we technically only have, like, 13 red sources? 14? Something like that? Um, but we only need a few. So, this is going to get cried. Cannot play Ventress, because I did not have an Islands. I do have an Islands. All right, next turn I can just play Atris. Start attacking on in, etc., etc. Main phase Kemper's Insight makes zero sense, but whatever. Um, we did get a blue source, which is nice. Or a red source, sorry. I'm going to play some Atris, and see what we get. We got two Ackies. 
In what world do I choose that? Oh, yeah, no, I did not need that land, fun fact. I have plenty. I'm still playing 26 lands. Murmuring Mystic, sure. So it's just, it's just spiels. Pay two life. Make you very sad by playing a Fires into a Bolus. And I am just going to take care of this. Because if nothing else, I can just Aki for another Bolus. So I'm not worried about it. So this should be a relatively okay win. Um... They might drop some bombs, but the fact of the matter is, they have relatively few initial threats and things, so. Notably, Elspeth's Nightmare will still be pretty good in here. Um, let's see. Dot Distortion might be good. Sarkin, Sarkin, I don't think I need. I didn't see counter spells, but obviously they could have them. I mean, we only went through... 13 of their cards. So we actually didn't see a ton. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't see a ton. Uh, I think these are all fine. I might want to drop a single ritual set. Do I just want to bring in Thought Distortion? I mean, I could bring in a, a Moment of Craving so I can, like, guarantee kill the, um, the Electromancers early, but as it is, I think I'm fine with this. Yeah, I think I'm fine with this. I don't need to switch things up too much. Yeah, I mean, this is a good hand. Turn one, temple. Turn two, scorn something. Turn three, nothing but meh. Turn four, fires plus ravage. Seems decent. That is a land, so I will keep that. Just make sure I can play on four. Sure, blue-white, that's totally fine with me. Um, the question is, do I take some Dablage? Yeah, I'll take a little Dablage just to hold up the Tyrant, Storm, Tyrant Scorn so I can cast it on their turn. I think that's probably reasonable. Anticipate's fine. Interesting. Fine with me. Cool. So this, this indicates to me, because of how fast that happened, this indicates to me that they didn't have a two mana instant or sorcery. Because they would have been able to cast it. So there would have been at least some sort of pause. That is not poggers, but it's fine because we have fires into bolus into bolus. So if nothing else, this is a nice two for one. It can pressure Sahili, although we just win. And the thing is, right, my opponent was playing just guy spells. It's a cool deck. It's an awesome deck. However, the only way for them to play it in best of three in historic is through this. And when everyone's coming correct, you gotta come correct too. And it's not a diss on the deck. I like I like my opponent's deck. I think it's a fun deck. But unfortunately, since I have to pay, since people have to pay entry for this, I think it's gonna be harder to go all the way. I also have no idea how many people are actually gonna be in this event, so I have no idea how long the waiting time should be. It wasn't it wasn't even that bad. This is the thing. Wizards is talking all this bullshit about how difficult it would be, or, or like how disparate it would make the um the the player base by having a bunch of these cues. I'm playing specifically historic, specifically best of three, and I have to do it in an area that is not obvious for the random player to find. Right? We have to mulligan this. We don't have any black. Oh, that's a yikes. I mean, we're going to keep it, but it is a yikes. Um, and it only took me 25 seconds to get matched. My opponent is full of crap. Also, if this is the same opponent, I have not noticed. <laughs> it could be. I don't remember their name. Okay, it's not. It's Esper Control. Or not. 
It's S for something. We all know that. Uh, no reason to do that at all. So next turn we can fire Mastermind's Aki. Probably for an Atrus. Okay. What the fuck is this? Four color... Oh, okay. This is um, this is the combo deck. Destroy creature. This is Kethis combo, I believe. Bunch of legends plus mill. Yeah, this is Kethis combo. All right. So we are going to. We're definitely gonna fires. We're gonna acquisition, and I think we acquisition for. Shit, do I have graveyard graveyard hate in this deck? Um, I mean, I can get something for five. I will search my, uh, my sideboard. I don't remember if we have active Graveyard Hate in this version of the deck. We don't. That's a yikes. That is a definite oops. We're going to be on five next turn. Um... Sarkin. Note to self. Don't don't ever not have Unmort Ego in decks. Yeah, I need to put Unmort Ego back in this. Kethis, hi, buddy. Hey pal. How's it going? Why'd you pay life? Exile two legendary cards. Exile. Exile to get that maybe, but that wouldn't. But then so they'd have two. Two mana. Maybe they could play another Fibble Fip. I don't know. Yeah, I'll take one. That's fine. Not great. I am just going to cast another Fires here. I want to make sure that um, if my opponent happens to have something to blow one of them up, I have a back, uh, back up. So by not having Unmort Ego, I've kind of screwed myself a little. Um, we have Maydeck Ashiok, but she doesn't do... What the fuck? Okay. Is that going to become... What's her name? I guess it could become another Kethis. They're at 14. I do need to draw some spice. Yeah. That's fine. Now you bring back who's my what's it? You bring that back. Mill yourself, yep. Then you can cast this, milling yourself some more. I should have I should have just gotten the um the removal spell. I should have just gotten Frost's Contempt. Twelve, so they can activate it again. Rebuy Mox Amber, perhaps? Because they have an Emery, right? No, they got rid of one of their Emerys. Alright. Um, I mean, they can... Alright, what are they exile? Temio. So they could mox, yeah, they could still mox Amber and Fibblethip again. And they only have 29 cards left in hand. Are they going to be able to mill me? Oh, they got more Mox Embers. Oh, right. They can loop this. They loop these two. Yeah, so they can loop these two. So as long as as long as they have access... Or as long as they keep hitting um, Legends, then they should be able to go off. I wish I had more to go. <laughs> Fuck. I ruined it. I mean, I'm still gonna let them. I'm still gonna force them to have it and like 
do the sequence properly. Um, but I do believe they should. They should have it here. Um, I mean, they even net mana now. Oh yeah, they super net mana now. So they, they should be easily able to, to mill me out. But I'm going to force them to have it. But this is this is the type of weird deck building that I <laughs> that I enjoy. So 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 far, both of the both of the matches, both both of the decks, um, have been fun, interesting decks. I identified what this deck was. The only issue, I chose wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I should have I should have just gotten removal, I guess. I wouldn't be able to do it instant speed, but I still would have been able to exile it because they they yeah, they didn't cast Kethis and they go off. You can see that Kethis is not summoning sick. So I had a chance to exile it. Um, I do wanna just triple check. Just keep looking at the graveyard. So they do have a Jace, so I do wanna like make sure I recognize that. But Um yeah, so they have a second. Diligent out. They only have five cards left. Oh, at this point, they're, they're going to mill themselves and win with Jace. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so they're, they're going to mill themselves. Keep this one. Tap for blue. Oh, they could have just played Jace first, but yeah. Play Jace, mill themselves, draw a card. Good job. <laughs> Why mill me? This is all just an illusion. Yep. It's a matter of give and take. Alright. Um, Dece for sure. Let's see. Thought distortion does not help me. Yeah, I, I fucked myself by getting rid of my graveyard stuff. Yeah, there's there's a not a whole hell of a lot of things that I want. I think I want to take out Elspeth's Nightmare, Cry the Canarium. Those are two threes, right? Oh, one threes. Cry doesn't matter to me. Ritual, suits, ritual of Soot's good. Um, I can bring that in main. I, mean, I guess technically Cry the Canarium kind of helps because it exiles these, but I don't think that matters. I'm bring in a Contempt. Oh, this exiles, you dumbass. <laughs> I would have gotten flack for that in the comments if I if I kept that out. Um, all right, yeah, this is fine. Ashiok does not exile things from the graveyard, but Ashiok would have been a better get there because then they could have um, they could have exiled my opponent's graveyard. Don't play first. I have an Ashiok. I have an Elspeth's Nightmare, but I do not have enough lands. This is sufficient. No, stop it. This will help me get a third land. Hopefully. Um, I think we get rid of Filthip here. Yeah, I can take care of one of these. It also gives me a bit more time to get my land drop for this. Because I can't cast one of these right now. Oh, I didn't cast this right now. Dumb, dumb. Let's see. Filled with it with... Is that just ability? No. Alright, well, whatever. Can I get a land? I got a land, hell yeah. Goodbye to you. I mean, I could have used the Tyrant Scorn, but I want to be able to get to these faster. Interesting. Emery. All that stuff's gonna go away. That's that shit I do like. Oh, bye bye. Um. Yeah, I'm just gonna play Bolus. They're gonna drop one of their lands, I assume. Then they're gonna play Tamio, get something back. Probably the Mox Amber. And then I'm going to exile the graveyard. And then I'm going to murder Tamio. I guess they could plus on Tamio. 
aren't any lunar anomalies. No, she's gonna mine us. Okay. Get an excavator. That's fine. I'm going to exile your yard. I'm going to kill Tamio, and I'm going to play Atris. Atris is gonna be dank. Oh, right. I forgot they could do that. It's fine. Whatever. Get domed. Um, I can ritual soot next turn and wipe this out. We're gonna Atris before we play Temple for multiple reasons. Uh, the main one being. The top three cards aren't going to be there anymore, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and then we don't want our opponent to know that we have a land to play. But we did a pretty good job at just eating away our opponent's resources. So this game should be okay. Search in a Mastermind's Eck. Yeah, I'll keep this. Yeah, this bolus, it's fine. But devil, yeah, I'll keep a devil. It's something I can do next turn instead of ritualing potentially. Is um search plus a devil. So I think they brought in Narset. I don't recall seeing it. Narset is fine. Know themselves, get a couple Kethuses in there. I know 88 ways keep an open mind. Right, I'm kind of surprised that they got that. Um, well, I guess they have plenty of uh, Planeswalkers. I was going to say they have a decent number of uh, creatures, but it's fine. Sure. Yeah, mill yourself a little bit more. I think I might actually just attack Atris at Narset. To see if my opponent wants to lose. Well, they'd only lose one of their creatures. Although I doubt I doubt they want to is the thing. Might be a little greedy, but I'm totally fine at just killing one of their creatures. If they want to double block, but I doubt that they will. Nope. Which means I'm going to Ritual. Not mana efficient, but... It goes a long way to just having them lose. Alright, they have two cards in hand, five mana on board. I don't see them coming back from this. I'm actually not going to play Fires of Vision. I will play this though. Uh, just because I want to be able to kill a Kethus at instant speed. Cool. Under the hardest one, game three. Seeing what I saw once again. Well, maybe maybe there's a reason to bring an Elder Spell. I can definitely see that. Um, and honestly, drop a Fires. Like, I could drop multiple fires to have, like, more stuff in here, but I think dropping a single fires is probably fine. We definitely don't want duplicates in uh, in this game. Maybe we want one. Um, but sometimes we're going to want to hold up things at instant speed, so I think this is a totally reasonable, um, reasonable card to cut in this matchup. I'm just like, all the way on, on to the, the left side, well, right side for you all. I'm on my left. This is my left hand. All the way on the left side. Right side. All the way on the left side. Uh, this is a good hand. Got this on turn two. Got some decent stuff. Yeah, I see very little reason not to keep. Doesn't have a lot of interaction. That is true. Leyland of Sanctity. All right. Sure. So, Thought Eraser. And that's like it? Right? This only, this only protects them. 
I don't really care if they have Hexproof. Excavator. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I think I just want to kill the Excavator. Right. I mean, I guess I could wait. Like, I could just say no to this. Play a Steam Vents Tapped. Next turn, play Ritual. Give me a nice two-for-one special. Or maybe I keep this anyway and still just play... Yeah, I think I like that the best. So I want to keep this on top. I want to draw it. But instead of playing it, we just go in with the Steam Vents. The next turn, if they have another creature out, we Ritual. If they don't, like if they play Planeswalker or something, I kill it. I'd probably be mana efficient, though, and use Vrasus Contempt, but... Neither here nor there. Hopefully, uh, by turn 5, I can get 5 mana, play an Ashiok. If not, I still have Bolas. So, I think we're looking pretty tidy. It's My opponent isn't going to win the game with damage. I should have shocked. And the reason I should have shocked is because if they play... Well, I guess it doesn't actually matter now, because it's specifically Teferi. But if they play a, um, a Planeswalker, I could kill it. But I can't kill this one. Um, I am fine with this situation. They still have, excuse me, no green. Um, I think I'm going to just play Bolas here. I don't care about a Teferi on one. I like the idea of restricting their hand even more, especially since they just dropped a, um, a Tamiyo into the yard. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with this. It applies a nice pressure to all of their Planeswalkers regardless. Takes them down to three cards. Lost a Narset, that's fine. They still don't have any green. So even if they have Kethis, they're S-O-L. Because they don't have the green to cast it. There's the green to cast it. And they play a Kethis. And they mill themselves. Here we go. Narset. Sure. I would love an Elder Spell. Whiff. Nice. Um, I mean, they're not doing anything this turn, so... Probably just Ritual of Soot. Kill Narset. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. Ooh, I can't Thought Erase you. That's fine. Also, Thought Erasure only hits opponents. Bullshit. Can't hit myself. Um... Going to just Ritual here. Yeah, no reason to... No reason to just kill... Like, kill the Kethys and then, like, play Search for Ascanta. I don't need Ascanta right now. Um, when I can just answer what my opponent's doing on board. And we get rid of Narset over Teferi once again. Teferi does not bother me. Right. Um, sure, they could cast Urza's Ruinous Blast. This is legendary. I do not give a crap about Urza's Ruinous Blast. I've got it. If anything, it, d it destroys this, doesn't it? Is it non-legendary, non-land permits? I don't remember. Um, Jake from State Farm. I'd love an Elder Spell. This will come in handy. So I can kill Tuffers this turn, and just bedevil Jake from State Farm, I guess. So first things first, we're going to hit you. Um, I think I'm going to Contempt Jake. I can still pay for Spell Pierce, but it's more mana efficient. If I tap take a land, then I can flip my bolus and steal things from their yard. Library, this is absolutely fantastic. Just, just a slaughtering. I have a bedevil open to, to deal with any shenanigans. So, easy game, easy life. Bolus, con bolus control, man. It's, it's, it's for me. Like, it's, it's just like my perfect deck. Oh yeah, absolutely. Speak of the actual devil. Oh, this targets. Oh wow. All right. I did not know. Plus. Will bend to my will. <laughs> Got rid of a, an additional ley line, sure. Smork. 
tapped. Next turn I flip Bolas. And you lose. Does this target? No, each opponent. Cool. Do any of your flips target? No. Um, library. Oh, I don't need to flip because I'm exiling his yard. <laughs> does that say? Does that fucking say target opponent? I thought it was each. I thought it was each. You hate to see it. I mean, I can still flip this ball, so it does not actually matter. Okay, I can erase your thoughts. But I think I would rather just steal some shit from you. Uh, no. Honestly, I don't think I even care. I think we erase thoughts. It's probably gonna be a land. Cool. And then we just Ashiok plus. I mean, I do. I, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have done that. I do put my. Oh fuck! No, I put. I was gonna say I put my shield down for one turn. Fuck! I might lose. I made a mistake. As soon as I played Ashiok, I was like, I shouldn't have done that. I had the Bedevil in my hand. Fuck. Um, he needs Lazav to turn into an excavator, but he doesn't have the. Oh right, it only costs two, so you can cast this and mill yourself more. You don't have any Mox Ambers. Oh, th damn, they just got another one. So yeah, I think I lose. <laughs> oh, no. This this was my game to lose, and I lost it. I guess technically there's still a chance to... Um, they essentially just need to have... No, I don't think I can lose. Or, sorry, I don't think they can lose. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, they exile two things, they get the Mox Amber back. They play another Emery. Yeah, they're just trying to get Mox Ambers. I'm so mad at myself! Oh! I, I'm such a fool! No! I mean, the thing, though, right? That was a back-and-forth game. I lost because I made a mistake. I was in a commanding lead. I did not need to play Ashiok. I knew their one out was playing Kethys. I could have just not done anything. And I would have won. Um, they have all four. Yeah, now at this point, I believe I lose. Yep. Damn. Damn. Giveropolis, if you're watching, fucking GG. This was my game to lose. Yeah, I lost it. Damn. Lost. You just don't know it yet. <sighs> you hate to see it. You hate to see the perfect top deck. But this is this is why this is why when you're ahead, instead of getting more ahead, you cover your ass. I'm usually a pretty conservative player. Didn't play conservatively. Played too aggressively. Thought it would help close out the game. I mean, the thing is, I was trying to put my clock to one turn. Right? But I went ahead and did that. <laughs> like, with Bolas plus the 2-drop, or the 2-3, the I would have been able to kill my opponent the next time I got my turn. I needed to fade one draw. And I didn't fade one draw. But I still think I should have, even knowing that because I had Bedevil, I shouldn't have taken the risk. Um, obviously, you know, hindsight 2020 and all that. Uh, who do we want next? It's definitely not Perf. perf I'm getting Perf last. Um, 
Sure. I mean, I hate all of these anyway, but we'll get Heliod next, I guess. Wow, I wonder what... I wonder what color combination I like. It couldn't happen to be Abzan, could it? I, I do think I do think that that's a good teachable lesson, though. And I want you I want you to notice how I feel about losing that game compared to some of the games I lost yesterday. Right? I am I'm smiling right now, and I lost. And I lost to a deck that sure you know Kethis combo is is like meta deck kind of for historic. You know, it, it's a known it's a known variable. Um, but I lost. Not because my opponent played any one card that was too strong. I lost because of my own hubris, my own poor um, poor decision, partly because of my poor deck planning. Um, I mean, at this point, honestly, I don't think I need the Moment of Craving anymore, um, and I should have Unmarty go back. <laughs> um, I hate everything. Um, stop it. And I'm happy about it, because I, I can learn from that. I was like, hey reinforcement if you're ahead already and you have the removal in your hand don't push your luck my opponent yes they had a lucky top deck but i could have done something to mitigate that luck for what it's worth i would have had to sequence the bedevil at the right time i'm pretty sure i could have done that i would have just like paused and had to think about it and i'm i don't know it off the top of my head i'm not going to think about it because it didn't come up but um it was such a foolish thing for me to do oh man but, but I enjoy losing like that. I enjoy when I lose because of my own decisions. Or because of the good decisions my opponent makes. Right? Losing like that? Great. Losing because my opponent uh, ramped into uh, an Asian treachery and then stole my board uh, like on turn four or some shit. That's not fun. That's not fun. Losing because I got rid of the first Ember Cleave, but not the second. Not fun. <laughs> losing because you're a dumbass and you're going to try better in the future. That's fun. That's that's magic right there. And this is why I like Historic better. It's like the reverse TED talk from yesterday, man. Oh, I, I feel so... I lost and I feel so good. It's madness. I would love to thank my lovely fucking patrons. Freeman, Kyoshin, Rabid Mongoose, Spencer, Ms. Boom, Brad, Dan Son, Easy Mode, Grumpy Thumper, Darth Rancor, and especially you, Zen, for sticking around. Zaraga, Salamander, Rexel, Croft, Furry God. All of you are in the, the, the MVP zone because the amount that you've supported this channel financially um, it far exceeds my expectations. Um, fucking also shout out to the channel members, Niblis and Jacob. You're also cool. You're cool folks. If any of you would like to join in supporting the show financially, you can finally step down in the description. But honestly... I'm seeing green back in the channel, and I don't mean money. <laughs> I'm seeing I'm seeing the statistics go back up. You know, we were we were at a low plateau, and then we hit a decrease. But we're going we're back in the green, man. We're going back up, and it just it feels so good to see that people are still in, are still coming to the channel, still enjoying the, the the random nonsense banter. And I really do fucking appreciate it. I, I don't know if you can tell the total difference between yesterday and today. <laughs> I did essentially the same things yesterday and today, like the same non-magic things. I did a little bit of work, I ate poorly, <laughs> and I recorded. But the difference, oh, the difference is entirely th the way I felt about the games I played today. And I really hope this video does well because I really want people to see, especially people who watched yesterday's video, to know that I love Magic the Gathering. At the heart of this game, We've got some fantastic cards, some fantastic mechanics and interaction, fantastic gameplay, and fantastic people. But sometimes wizards like to shoot themselves in their own foot. But we gotta, we gotta, we gotta live those days. We gotta experience those days. We gotta accept that those days occur. We talk about those days, but we gotta move past those days, and we gotta keep enjoying this fantastic game. We gotta keep pushing to make this fantastic game stay fantastic and get better. And you gotta just say, we're having a good damn time. And if you're having a good damn time, tap that like button. Add a subscription to your pool. Cast a comment in the comment section down below. Pass it during the video to some of your friends. And of course, until next time. And there will be some more next times, damn it. 
all will be one. Yeah. Woo. Having good times. <laughs>